back with Trayvon as we go through some of those exercises that help alleviate the tension he's been feeling, particularly into the hip region now after some due process, some testing, some analysis we established. It wasn't just resonating or originating from here. There was a kinetic chain issue. So we've gone through a bunch of exercises to help him alleviate the tension or lack of control in those said sections. Here's another one that we're almost finishing off with. And this is gonna be particular for each joint space in relation to earning that extreme position. He's already feeling it because he's been working. What we're gonna do here is earn ankle mobility. Then we're gonna add on top of that to knee mobility with ankle mobility and then hip mobility in a seated profile, okay? So with his hands here, where he's earning some postural control, shoulder blades are down and back, he's pulling his elbows through. He's gonna to try to tension his legs as straight as they'll allow and he's gonna move through the ankle joint, creating space to that said ankle joint. He's gonna go comprehensively or in sequence, which each particular ankle is in the same direction. And then after he's done five or 10 seconds of that, then he's gonna go against the grain. You don't have to do the whole set, sir. You already worked out today. We already went through this. Just giving people a diagram or an example, less of the knees, right? We're gonna add the knees after. What he's learning now is comprehensive, intentional control of that said section that was probably dormant and staying tight. He's been sitting for a long period of time. It's really tight and it's just kind of atrophying. When he receives that information to the ground where he's running, squatting, changing direction, even push-ups, is not responding. Tissues are reaching their max capacity and they're giving him bad information, i.e. pain, tightness, and unfortunately some injury flare. So we gotta earn all this stuff. We can add the knees whenever he's ready. I know he's getting a little tired, we've been working pretty hard. And now we're adding another joint, try to use less of your hips. Or now he's earning knee mobility because again, because of those tension points or imbalances of control, stability, mobility, suppleness of the tissues, they're getting very rigid. So he has to earn that suppleness or that water-like control of the said joint at each particular joint capsule position. That's where the knees come into play. Try to use less of your hips. And then eventually, he would add into that position with his hips. Try to pull those elbows back. I'm tight like my friend here, like I am. You can always use a wall. And if this is too aggressive, you can put something behind your lower back to help you with this position. I suggest trying to tough it out because this is helping build some of those problems that you had, okay? And it includes the hips at the end. So again, building time under tension, under new spaces, under new positions without the presence of impact, earning this, learning it, and in turn, allowing his body to rehabilitate while he's working. I mean, you can see he's sweating. It's new stimulus, it's gonna build new muscle mass, it's gonna build new control. And now, after you've done that, sir, let's go ahead and stand up. Try squatting and a couple of those movements that are very common and see if it feels better, because that's the whole point of doing this. We want it to feel better. Good. Now that you've been aware of activating those areas, be intentional about activating before you commit to those movements. Good. How's the pain? Pretty much gone? Gone. Gone. Sweet. So that's essentially why we want to get into these, because again, we don't want these things creeping in, and we're often they're creeping in, eventually it's going to turn into an injury. With the setback, we can do less. And we're already doing less during this tough time. So definitely take some time to learn some of these things. If you don't know what exactly you're doing, you can always reach out to me reach out to my apprentice, Carrie. We got some programs for you to help you uh, deal with some of these issues in your tissues, okay? Particularly because of the events we're you know, dealing with. And this will actually set you up for your long-term health and wellness and getting back to your outdoor activities without any pain or you know, the presence or, I guess, chances for those set injuries. So, thanks for tuning in.